Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be showing you guys my brand new Kinex Supercharged V8. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, first we'll start off with the front half and move our way back. First, we have the rudder, propeller, our slip joint down there, and our counterweight. And then all the way up here, we have our pull bars for our pull bar steering system. Down here, we have the two-speed manual transmission with reverse. And the new thing about it this year is that instead of a floor shifter, it has a column shifter. So if we follow this all the way up to the dash, we could move this lever and it selects your gear for you. Moving on over here, we have the supercharger down here. This is driven by the flywheel, which is all the way down there. And then we have the accelerator assembly here. So this is the gas pedal, accelerator pedal. And then this is the butterfly valve, or the throttle valve, that allows more air to go into the engine, therefore speeding it up. And then up here we have two fuel injectors that squirt fuel along with the air to make um, the combustion happen. Then down here, we have our piston clutch, which is right here. Um, I've had this on one other model, my old uh, V4 video. And basically what it does is that when you press on this clutch pedal, basically what happens is that this will disengage from the engine back there. Therefore, the transmission and the engine are no longer connected. Moving up here, we have the Pride and Joy, the supercharged 576 cubic centimeter V8. Um, our performance, of course. This has the um, these ball um, mounted mirrors over here. And then we have the spark plug wires that lead down here all the way up to the uh, kind of... It's kind of like a distributor, but it's kind of not. When the engine spins, this little thing spins and it contacts these points which uh, sends sparks to the engine. This is a 8 valve engine. It has one valve per cylinder and it is kind of like a two-stroke hybrid. Um, it has a exhaust valve and an intake port. Moving over here we have the steering lock. So this allows the steering wheel to turn a certain amount before it locks up uh, preventing the steering from braking. Moving on to the dashboard, we have a new steering wheel design. This is a slightly shorter steering wheel, so it's um, easier to turn. We have our set and cancel for our cruise control, and our volume right here. Moving along, we have our sport, normal, and eco mode, and our tow haul mode. A nice um, climate vent here with these chrome, brushed chrome accents. Moving on here, we have the, speed, uh, the speedometer. It goes up to 80 miles an hour, but this thing can't go 80 miles an hour. It's just a, uh, for pretend. And then this is the column shifter. As I mentioned earlier, uh, it works better when the engine's spinning. But this is park or neutral. Then this is low, drive, and reverse. We have our ignition with our standard key and key fob. Stick it in the ignition. Turn it. Um, then we have, let me get this out of the way. We have our stereo, AM, FM, cooled seats, heated seats, our um, channel regulator right here, four presets, and we have a little storage cubby here to put uh, stuff in. We have two climate vents on either side with our temperature control and these nice um, brushed chrome accents. All right, let's go test it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this one and make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.